Whoa, whoa. Okay, hi, hi. David Zritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. This is a big box. Thank you, Captain Obvious. This is a big box that has been shipped from Tom Ford, and it really begins an incredible brand story. And we love collecting these brand stories, but this one is a particularly good one because we've been talking about Tom Ford from a brand standpoint. They're, what they provided in No Time to Die, there's casual aspects, and obviously there's more formal aspects. We had multiple videos on one of the suits that Daniel Craig's James Bond wears from Tom Ford, uh, the shirt, the tie, and Tom Ford as a brand knew that there were other things that we haven't talked about on the Bond experience, but we've wanted to talk about. We've been speaking to them over the phone, over email, but something reared its head, and it's something that we've all been encountering, and that is COVID-19. And in a lockdown situation, which is absolutely the right thing to do, and a certain amount of social distancing, I certainly couldn't go to the Tom Ford boutique and film more videos of these pieces, and they couldn't come to me, or could they? You see, literally the day that Tom Ford's New York City store closed their doors so their employees and their customers could be safe, they did something very special. They took all of the pieces, all of the formal kit, if you will, that Bond wears in No Time to Die, and they put it into this box. We've got shirts, we've got ties, and yes, we've got suits and a particular tuxedo that Bond wears all in this box, just so we could sit in the safety of our home and stay at home and film these videos and talk about these items that we were all curious about. What's the look and the fit and the feel, the experience of these Tom Ford pieces from No Time to Die? That's what this story is about. So without further ado, let's get into the box. All right, so I just emptied out that monstrous box and inside uh, was this wonderful bag. In the bag was this box and also <laughs> this suitor with a lot of hangers in it. Let's take a look. All right. Oh, oh, oh hold on a second. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, we've got some very interesting things in here. Uh-huh. So we've got three outfits in here. And in the box... In the box we've got... Uh, oh my. Oh my, oh my. We've got a cummerbund. We've got a bow tie. We have a huge... My gosh, huge stack of ties. I'm counting at least six ties in there. We've got a tuxedo shirt. We've got a blue shirt. We've got a white shirt. Yeah, that box is holding quite a few things. So um, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here I am, very informal. I've got a V-neck t-shirt on. It doesn't seem like the right atmosphere for talking about the Tom Ford suit. So why don't we jump into one of these puppies? <laughs> So the first suit that we're taking out of the box is this suit. This is the blue Prince of Wales check. It's based off of the O'Connor suit as far as the cut is concerned. But let's get up and close so you can see this Prince of Wales check. I'll get up nice and close. Look at that. So you've seen the video probably by now of my gray Prince of Wales check suit. This is basically the same exact pattern but it's blue, and we've got to harken back for a moment to the scenes that you've seen this suit in. First of all, you have a moment where we've seen some incredible still shots of this, and even some paparazzi shots of Bond and M talking with each other. Who knows what they're talking about, but the suit is very clear. You can also see the high berries in calf. You can see that it is the City Souls, and you can see that it's Crockett and Jones, of course, that he's wearing on his feet. Now, that being said, 
You also see this in the trailers. You see him going into MI6 and clearly they are interrogating Blofeld. Bond goes in there to speak to Blofeld. But before he does that, he runs into Madeline. Looks like there's a reunion of sorts and he says, I won't lose control. He looks at her. You remember those parts. That is this suit. Now, let me uh, shoot the cuffs a little bit. I'm wearing the correct blue shirt and we're going to give you stats on all of these in a moment. But I'm wearing the correct blue shirt that he wears. And you're wondering to yourself, Dave, what's with the casual look? What's with the no tie look? All right, I'm going to explain why there's no tie to die. So in the box that Tom Ford sent, there were no less than six ties with no delineation of what the ties should go to, which suit. So there's this kind of brownish gray. I, I don't think it's that one. There's this blue and check this out. The blue has a very interesting pattern. And if you remember um, back to that really high res photo of, of Bond in the suit, we don't think it's that one. This is the tie that goes to my gray Prince of Wales check. So just by process of elimination, it's not that one. So now we're down to three. At first, I thought it was this blue one because it's got this kind of like shadow weave striation in it. I've been told by the experts, people like uh, What's Daniel Waring and Matt Spazer, it's not that one. So it leaves me with one of these two right here. And I'll come up really close and personal. This one's got like a, a little pick pattern to it. Um, this one has kind of a, I don't even know what you would call that, that pattern, but maybe it's on here. Of course it's not, but it's a black. It's like a charcoal. And this one, according to the Tom Ford, uh, is, a, is a gray. I actually think it might be this one. So what am I going to do? Just with pure assumption, and by the time this video comes out, we could know which tie it is. But for now, for this video, I'm choosing this tie. Let me, let me get changed so I'm a little bit more appropriate. All right, so now I have the tie on. I'm feeling uh, definitely more bondish. There's a couple of things to point out right from the get-go. First of all, you see that I am wearing the Benson and Clegg Correct tie clasp at the right level where Bond tends to wear it. So definitely feeling more Bond. But this suit, because it's not finished, it hasn't been tailored for me, for example, still has a lot of the stitching in it. It doesn't have the buttons on it. And of course, my pants are not cuffed. So I didn't even bother putting on shoes. And I would have obviously had a little bit of tailoring in the leg and obviously some tailoring in the jacket. So this is a 50 short, okay? So let's put it on, we'll take a look at it. Uh, it hasn't been pressed. I'm doing a hand on heart mea culpa. It's come right out of the box, but you are seeing it pretty much in its form. All right, so right away I am pretty much liking the way it's fitting. It's pulling a little bit here underneath my chest. Um, and I'm feeling actually that there's potentially a little thing of fabric in there. Uh, these, these obviously really do feel like you are wearing armor. I know I've said it ad nauseum with Tom Ford, but it really does. Look at the suppression. I've got something black in the background, but let me stand against that so you could see the suppression of the waist. It is pulling a little bit here. I can even see it in the uh, camera itself. So I would have this taken out just a wee bit uh, but I'm liking the profile. Again, I did get a short. So this way, you know, because of my 5'9 size, 31 inch waist, 40 inch chest, this would be right for me. Even the sleeve length is pretty damn good. I mean, you know, I might have it slightly adjusted, but you can see that the wonderful cuffs of the shirt are coming out appropriately in here. And all right, now that I'm seeing the tie, Love your opinion on this, but you know, I think it kind of fits the look. Now, I, I'm sure we could break it apart. And again, I'll find out later that this is the right tie, but it does have that look that you see very briefly in the movie. And by the way, I would have addressed this with a, uh, a pocket handkerchief, but 
it's sealed up. This is, this is really just to try on the fit and the feel. All right, let's talk about the fit and the feel. As usual, these Tom Ford suits are meant to move. So I am absolutely, what am I, what am I trying to do here? I'm, it's unrestricted. I, I'm not walking around like some stiff Frankenstein. I can move incredibly well. Let's see, I can make a fool out of myself and I'm running around as if I'm in an action movie and I'm not. Uh, so I can, I can move around. Let's take a look at the back. We always do. I am really unrestricted here. I've got that sloping shoulder that people hopefully are getting sick of hearing about, but I'm not, you know, I'm really seeing a really nice cut and line here. I've got to tell you, uh, even the sleeves, the sleeves look pretty good. And I like that there's this wonderful natural sheen. It's not shiny, but it definitely has a sheen. And I think that's a component of what the fabric is actually made of in this particular case. I'd be remiss not to mention the fact that this suit in particular is a blend. It's not only wool, it has silk in it, which probably would account for the softness of this, the hand, if you will, as well as the little bit of a sheen that you see. And my gosh, does it move and drape effortlessly. And I think that's a part of the silk being blended in with the wool had to be mentioned. And again, we're going to get up just nice, close and personal, probably too close for comfort, just to see that amazing pattern there that just makes this suit what it is. All right. As I mentioned, the suit itself is almost the same style as the O'Connor suit. However, the lapels have been thinned out a little bit. All the suits from Tom Ford in No Time to Die have had these thinner lapels, which quite frankly makes it look very sleek. It does have a button to show one jacket fastening. It's also called uh, a three roll two as Matt Spazer has, has taught uh, a lot of us. So there's three buttons, but you don't see you don't see that top button because it's rolled behind the lapel itself. The shoulders, as you can see, are very lightly structured. They have rope sleeves. The breast pocket is Tom Ford's usual curve. They call this a barchetta shape, this kind of curve that you see goes down. It's not straight across like many suits. The hip pockets themselves, as you can see right here, they've got a very, very uh, light, gentle flap. Now the cuffs would have, if I had buttons on them, four buttons. You would only fasten three and the last buttonhole is always going to be longer than the others. That is a Tom Ford branding moment. Besides looking at the front of the jacket, we have to look at the rear. It does have a single rear jacket, makes it very comfortable. And obviously that also aids in a lot of the movement. Some people prefer double, but this happens to be a single vented, just like in the movie itself. And the vent is open, so I can have pretty good movement. The trousers themselves have a mid-rise front, as you can see right here. It's flat fronted and it's got, of course, the Tom Ford side adjusters, which really add a lot of comfort and a lot of adjustment, depending if you're eating uh, pasta or if you're having a, a kale saddle, it makes a big difference. We of course have to show the interior of the suit. The interior is of course, well done. Plenty of ample pockets. You don't want to break the lines. This is a phone pocket, but I find that it breaks the line of the suit. So find some other way to hide your phone. That's just my two cents in there. You've got this other side. And of course, uh, the way and the fabric and everything is inside of the jacket. So beautiful interior, as nice as the exterior, actually. We need to talk about some of the 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 psychology of what's going on right now in my head, because I have the gray suit. Uh, I'm trying on this suit, which is basically the same pattern, but blue. I have, like many of you, a lot of navy blue suits. So I have to ask myself, am I, am I really compelled to get this suit? And my, my first in instinct is to say, not as compelled as I was to get the gray one. I don't have a lot of gray suits. I have some charcoal suits. But the light gray, you know, Prince of Wales check is just so indelibly bond, it stands out. What would send me over the edge to purchase this suit right now as I'm trying it on is what part does it play 
in the movie. I know, I probably shouldn't. I give up, guilty. But really, if there is a particular moment in the movie that's really profound, that is a, a, a Bond moment that I want to capture, then this suit takes on a different meaning. It's more than just a Navy, it's more than just a blue Prince of Wales check, really great Tom Ford suit. I mean, it's got, look, it's got all of the tropes that you know the Tom Ford brand to have. It's got the quality, it's got the look, it's got the feel. They're gonna make it look and fit perfect. Okay, now you've gotten right to the level of the bar that I expect. How do I send it over? It's got to be what scene and what, what it makes me feel like from an ownership standpoint. So what we're gonna do is this. I have a couple days with this suit. I wanna actually walk around in it, um, not live in it so much. There'll be no action scenes. I'm confined to the house, so I won't be rolling about or going to any meetings and it's not finished anyway, but I'll try it on again. I'll definitely feel it. But this was just to give you a quick view of it and a quick connection point to the details of it, because let's face it, many of us can't get out to those stores, to those boutiques and see these in person. And even if you could, you might not get this close up and personal. So it's an opportunity. Anyway, we are going to look at other items that were in the box, including those ties that I just held up in more detail, the mystery ties. But for now, this is that suit that we see in a few handful of scenes. It's a Bond suit. It's Tom Ford. You really can't go wrong. I still got a huge smile on my face. That's going to be hard to get off. Anyway, this has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience, and we will see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information, plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you, just because we know you. Talk to you soon.